Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we're going to learn a uh, few concepts in Cucumber. Um, so already know we already we know how to generate the report, how to attach the screenshot, how to attach the video. Similarly, we're going to learn how to attach the trace file as well. So this is our report I just executed. So if you go to our scenario and here you can select the chart the metadata uh, the feature file name the relative path what is the feature name what is the tag name we are getting all the details so if you go inside the scenario register user so here you can see like we have given when then and after so in the after you can see like we have few attachment so for example if i click on this attachment you can see the video execution like uh, i can open this in a new tab and i can play this video just to see the execution right Similarly, I can go and click on the screenshot like once the scenario is completed, of course, we can get the screenshot. Apart from that, also, we have now the uh, trace file. So there is small disadvantages there. Let me show you. So here you can select it says trace file. Uh, yeah, and yeah, you can just click on this show info to get this. So you can see like it's a trace file and it says like open and if I click on this open you can probably see like it's going to open the playwright uh, trace viewer website okay. Um, yes of course we can open that in a new tab as well so if I click on this control plus click you can see like it's going to open a new tab. But it doesn't load the uh, file actual file because uh, that's in our local machine right. So I couldn't find a way to do that but as an alternate here you can see like we have this file name so it's end with like 97e right so if i go to this particular uh web link and if i click on the select file it should bring me this 97e that is the file name so if i open that now we can see like we have this uh trace viewer which is really awesome in play right so here you can select page dot go to if i click on the after it will give it uh, like you can see the action so here it's like input we are typing trying to type something so this is my before and this is my after we have all the features of playwright trace viewer which is really good so we have the snapshots we have the screenshots everything is there even your entire code base is there so for example let's say that i want to see this so this will be somewhere like this so you can get this all this your code and everything so if you go to this so this is the code this is the step and this is the object this is the fulfilled so all these things are there okay which is really um, good okay now uh, you can also read your console logs if there is any console logs if there is any net talk things you want to uh, see of course you can see if there is any attachment you can see all the stuff okay so this is really good and also you can find your locator just click on this guy and drop your mouse anywhere you can see like this is the uh, locator of that particular file okay so yeah that's it so we are now able to see the trace file so how to generate it is very simple just go to your hooks file within the hooks file uh, before that yeah so we have two hooks file right so one is this before and this is another before so one this is for our authenticated users so if i want to use the storage state concept i will use this auth and if it's not thought i will say like tags not thought why i'm doing this is um some of you commented like even though we are using this authenticated hook it also triggers this particular hook right so to avoid that it should avoid by default but some reason not sure if it's cucumber bug or our configuration is wrong i will not say that i am perfect 100 percent perfect but as an alternate solution for now i can give you like if you don't want this hooks to trigger for your authenticated hooks you can just mention like tags not auth that means it will not run only this particular tag will will run okay now yeah coming back to the how to generate the um, context i mean the tracing file so here we have the simple code context dot tracing dot start and within that you can give your name that's going to be a scenario name title it's going to be your same scenario name and source is going to be of course true screenshot snapshot we'll attach everything and within your after hook what you have to do is within the after hook you have to uh, get the path so this is the path where i'm going to say store the trace file so test result is my default folder of course there only we are storing all our files and then i'm going to create a folder called trace so if i show that within this so trace result 
and then we have the trace folder and within that we have this pickle.id pickle.id is going to be always unique then followed by the zip and then i will say like context.stracing.stop path and i will pass this path okay so where i want to store this and finally um here of course it's going to be like pass if if the test is going to fail we are going to capture the image we are going to capture the video path uh and then we are going to attach to a reporter right so similarly what you can do is you can say uh, something like this so let me move this to the top and this is going to be anyways we are going to start the uh uh trace in the before scenario so of course we have to stop and then we have to close the page and the uh, context right so what we'll do is basically like uh, um yeah so yeah so if it's going to fail then only we are trying to capture our image and the video part similarly here also if it's going to be uh fail then we are going to attach this file okay in my case it's going to pass so i'm going to change both this as pass now yeah uh why making both as pass in the sense like when i do this pass then only i will get the image and then only i will get the video path and then here it's going to attach if i make this only as pass and this as fail means since our script is going to pass now this guy will be null and this guy will be also null so here it will throw an error okay so if you're going to make this both as pass make it both pass if it's going to fail make both as fail okay so here if it's going to be like pass and here it's going to be like failure then some of the object might be null okay i hope you are able to understand or else just make it like pass and fail and try you will end up with an exception so make the both the status as pass so that we'll get the objects value and then we can attach okay that's it i'm not going to execute it's going to be very simple so i hope you are able to understand this okay and um um yeah that's it okay so this is how and of course uh since we have like both the uh before hooks i have added in both the places i have already checked out the code in my, in my github repository you can go and check it out from there as well so if you go to this github.com slash autonicac and if you go to the repository and if you go to this flare at cucumber ts of course you can see all the codes okay now coming back to one another topic is like how to run multiple uh, tags right so how we are running our tags is very simple if you go to the config file if you go to the cucumber.js file here you can see like we have this config npm underscore config underscore tags that means uh, uh we can pass the tags from the cli right command line interface so if you go to the cucumber documentation these are the ways we can use so for example you can use a particular tag at fast or at test something like that if you want to give like combined you can use the and operator or the or operator also like not operator right so based on this only it's going to work so how to pass is very simple bring up your command prompt i mean terminal and uh, one more thing is like mostly i use git bash terminal so if you go to this git bash you can see like i have git bash terminal that is what i use in my vs code that's why most of the time the commands i use are mostly like your unix command and if you are using something like your command prompt or the powershell the same command might not work there so i will recommend you to use the git bash and then uh, follow my tutorial so that you will also follow the same um, commands okay but most of the commands should work in some cases if you are noticing like it's not working maybe you are using the command prompt or the powershell but use the git bash okay so how to run npm run test means of course it will run all the uh, test cases right so for example let me execute and show you as well Okay. 
And also I have done some minor changes within the script because sometimes the scripts are failing. So I just added some minor tweaks. You can go and check the code base maybe. Okay, so 34 of 44 steps. So the progress didn't show up fully, but uh, yeah, it's got executed, I guess. Or maybe few things are skipped, I guess. Now here it says 44. Yeah, the progress didn't work perfectly, but yeah, that's okay. So if you go to this and if you open this reports and if you open this index.html file, now you can see like we have uh, four scenarios where we have like um, a four feature file with eight scenarios and these are the scenarios. So let's go into the register user and if you go to this and if you go to the show info and here you can select we have trace file open. So if I click on this now, um, it says like cannot open the trace file from the URL. So what I have done is basically I have encoded the file path. So if you go here and if you check for this hooks. So here you can see like we have trace file and then followed by the encoded uh, that file encoding is there but still it doesn't work. Uh, that is the reason previously what i have done is like i have changed this to uh, and i guess that will make sense so let me just do the changes here and here i will give the file path okay so that will be like your uh, path okay so that's it so next time you will see a link called open and uh, there you will see the file path name you can just click on the select file and you can choose the file name okay now yeah, so this is how we have to run all our script but if i want to execute based on particular tags what i'll do very simple i will just use the dash dash tags in capital equal to uh, i will say like i want to run my test okay let me show you uh, what i have here so if i go to my feature files if you're just coming from some random video to this video you will not understand anything but if you have followed my entire playlist definitely now you will understand okay so here i don't have any tags here i have only one tag called fail and here i have tag called auth here i have talk tag nothing and here i have a tag called test okay so i'm going to run this let me name this like a hey, add so yeah the worst name but just for demo so i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say like at test i'm going to run this and and at the rate add so this though i'm going to run but this will not run actually why in the sense like we are focusing on the test and the add but do we have any future file which has like test tag and the add tag of course it's not right so if you go to the add to cart feature um yeah so here you can select we have add tag and fail so if i give like add and fail it will execute but since and you know the and right so and operator so it doesn't work in that way so of course here it's not going to execute zero scenarios right so how to run i want to run my test and the add so i will just simply say like or tag that means if any of the one tag is available there it will execute so in this scenario our add to cart feature file is going to execute which has scenario with outlines and the test tag is also going to work test tag is basically your uh, this register username right i mean register user so this is how you have to use the tags most of you ask me how to run multiple tags very simple thing is just a cucumber thing not your node.js or any other configuration so i'll attach this link or maybe you can just take a screenshot and you can learn so basically you have to say like and or not operator based on that it's going to work very simple okay now here you can see like the scripts are of course it's going to run and let me show you the report once again and probably this is the last and end of this particular playwright tutorial with cucumber series i don't have any further plans to make any video if there is anything specifically you want probably you can ask and i think uh I don't have any other things to share. So uh, we achieved a lot of things, right? So here you can see like register user and here if you go to this, here we click on the show info and here you can see like we got this open and then followed by the file path. So if I click on this, the file's name end with 77, I guess. So why is this? Yeah, 77. So if I open this, I can see all my uh, things. Okay.
yeah so if you click on the source you will get that get that as well okay so that's it guys uh thanks for watching see you in the next one another series maybe not this one so i'm planning to start the api testing from postman from rest assured from cucumber everything so probably we'll see it in the next play playlist thanks for watching see you in the next one we soon bye bye take care